guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is katie and today i'm starting a new reading vlog and it's currently monday i think around 11 a.m and i didn't vlog at all this weekend because i had a family get together yesterday again and it was super fun it's always great seeing family and the food was amazing as always if you are wondering why the background looks a little bit different that's because i'm back home for a few days and i'm in my library or book room and it's just makes me so incredibly happy this morning i have been starting to reorganize some of the shelves and take some books off that I might unhaul so if you want to see an unhaul video please let me know because I'd be happy to film that and I am listening to audiobooks while I am reorganizing so I finished the fourth book in the Evermore series called Dark Flame I believe and it's a good book and this series is just it's a fun time so I'm not really rating them because they're like they're not my favorite at all but I'm gonna finish the series at this point so I'm gonna start the fifth audiobook I'll put a picture on the screen so I'm gonna listen to that while I'm reorganizing for a bit and then once I get a good decent amount done, I will do a pan over of the shelves that I've done, but I'm going to wait to do a bookshelf tour in the coming months because I want to reorganize this entire room, which is going to take quite some time. <laughs> Later today, I want to continue reading When in Rome by Sarah Adams because I read another chapter or two in that this morning, but I'm only on page like 40, so I don't really have too much to say about it, but I'm enjoying it so far. I think that's all I'm going to update for now. Now I'll just check back in in a few hours once I get more reading done. Before you guys watch this next clip, I thought it would be nice to sit in the sun to film it and once I looked back on it, I realized my hair, like the little baby hairs, were like sticking up. There's two just in the middle sticking up and it looked like, I look like a baby bird. So enjoy. It looks weird, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. It, it's still, it's still good. It's all good. But I thought I would just mention it because it's so apparent, but that's okay. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday afternoon and I do have some reading updates for you all. I didn't end up filming anymore yesterday because I kind of just got really busy. I was organizing my bookshelves for pretty much the majority of the day and I finished two audiobooks and I'm pretty sure I talked about finishing the fourth Evermore book but I did finish the fifth one and I think that one's like a 2.5 stars as well. This morning I started the sixth book which is the final one and it is interesting so far. Like it is a very fun series to read so I'm not mad that I'm reading them, but they're not my favorite, but it is such a beautiful day outside. Like, I love just sitting in the sun, that's why I wanted to film this right here, because I normally go in my book room, but the sun was just too compelling, so I just wanted to sit here. Sorry, I just changed the angle a little bit, but I did make a little bit more progress in When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I'm on page 42, so not that far in the book, but I can't really say too much, but it's really cute, and I'm really loving the writing so far, and... I feel like their dynamic, like watching them progress, is going to be so adorable and so wholesome and I cannot wait to read that. I do have some book mail. So the one I did open, the other one I have not, but the one I opened is the this Fake Crate set that I got, which is the Fallen World series by Laura Thalassa and it's in this really nice box set and it says everything that lives must eventually die. And I really don't know what the series is about, but I knew I knew about it at one point, that's why I was interested in buying these, but I'm pretty sure it's a fantasy romance series. The first book is called The Queen of All That Dies. So pretty. The second book is The Queen of Traitors. And then the third one is The Queen of All That Lives. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see the covers with the sun, but still very gorgeous. And they all have beautiful sprayed edges, which I absolutely love. They all have art on the naked hardback. So here's the first one. The first one says, once upon a time we were innocent and then we were not. This is the second one, and here's the back. And it says, the heartless king has found his heart after all. And then this is the third one. Here's the back, and it says, I am chaos, I am the undoing of man, and all the world will fall to my feet. I really love the gradient blue or the ombre. I think it's really pretty. And I am so excited that I got this series, and hopefully I'm going to read them soon. I realized the glare from my laptop was showing, so I'm, I apologize for that, but I moved that. But I also did get an Owl Crate box that I thought I would unbox for you guys. We have a guest with us. Come here. Hi, Chels. Oh, she's such a sweetheart. Hi. Do you want to help me unbox it? Yeah. 
look at her cute little face. She loves the sun too. This is the I Will Create August Young Adult Box, which is through the seasons. And some for some reason I got two spoiler cards. Sorry, my dog is scratching in the back if you hear anything. The first thing is, it's an Akatar tin, y'all. It says you can store your little fairy items or hide your most secret trinkets within them. The tin features stunning artwork representing each of the seven quartz. This is gorgeous. Look at this. It has all of the quartz on it. And then the top, of course, has the night court. The most important one. Honestly, any trinkets that are for series I love, I adore displaying them on my bookshelves. This is so cute. Honestly, I can see myself putting like bookmarks in here. But I'm definitely displaying this on my shelves. Then we have one of their treasure tome pins, which I think are it's such a cool concept. And this one is for Oh Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I still need to read that book. But this is so cute. Look at this. I love that. And then you open it up and it has some facts and some dates and stuff like that. That is so cute. And then we have oh, it's a solid perfume. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of like a masculine spa. Mm, that smells really good. I really like that. It's bergamot and autumn woods. Bergamot? Is that how you say it? <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it weird. But this is really nice, especially like keeping a bathroom. I really like this. Next, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so people, since I feel like annotating has become such a huge thing in the past year, and some people still don't prefer to write in their books. A lot of places are now doing these like really skinny tabs. So it's like a highlighter tab. So you don't actually have to physically write in your book. This is so useful. Because honestly, sometimes I have a special edition book and I don't want to annotate in it, like write in it physically. But if I love it, I want to be able to transfer those annotations into like a regular edition. So this is honestly perfect for that. This is amazing. I love this. It says, this is what you must remember. The ending of one story is just the beginning of another. I love that. We have a story doorways, which is a limited edition collection. It says Infernarnia, which is such a childhood classic movie trilogy for me. Oh, this is so cute. How does this work? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I was putting it in the wrong way. Wait. So he's being smarter than me. Okay, I had it right the very first time. Okay, never mind. I had it right the first time. Basically, you just set this on your shelf and it looks like a little doorway. That's so cute. Where does the book end? Oh my gosh. So true. That is so cute. I love little details like this. Courage, dear heart. Oh my god, it makes me want to rewatch these, especially seeing Ben Barnes and Shadow and Bone. I just want to rewatch Narnia. So bad. Prince Caspian for life. <laughs> Lastly, we have the book. So pretty. It's icy and I love any books with snow or ice. This book is called Omen of Ice. I'm not exactly sure how to say this name, but that is it right there. I don't want to say it wrong, but it says when a fae falls in love, it's forever. This is a stunning cover and it has really pretty icy blue edges. Look at that. In the back, what does that say? Oh, when a fae falls in love, it's forever. It's the same quote. This is so beautiful. Look at the under dust jacket art. That's so gorgeous. I want to live in this little town. This is so cute. Spent her whole life training to become a bodyguard for a winter fae. I don't want to read anymore because I don't want to know anymore, but that is enough for me to want to read this. Oh, and there's art in the end pages. I didn't even notice that. It's so pretty. And does she have red hair? And here is the front art. But if you don't know this, I know I talk about like wintry thrillers quite a bit, but I adore fantasy books that have a winter setting. I love it so much. Like Frostblood, the series that got me back into reading, love that series and it's winter themed. This book is gorgeous and oh my gosh, I want to read this so bad but I know how much fun it would be if I read this when it was actually winter and there was snow falling. Oh my gosh, I want to read this so badly though. <laughs> this looks so good. She rides with the winter court. I want to read this so badly. This will definitely be my winter TBR unless I read it earlier. We'll see. We'll see what I do. This box was amazing. I am so impressed with every single thing I got in it. So that is all I have for now. I'm going to go upload my weekly reading vlog for the previous week. 
and I still need to edit the thumbnail for that. I still have one more picture I need to take for the thumbnail, but I have the video all edited and I imported that to my phone. So I'm going to upload that and while that has been uploaded, I will probably read more of When in Rome or listen to my audiobook. So yeah, that is all I have for now and I will talk back later. Before I read though, I'm going to go get a ginger cookie because I all got them for the family event we had. It sounds so good. You deserve a treat. If you want a treat, get a treat. It's just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go get it. Bag secured. Hey guys, I'm just going to do a little update and it is currently I think 5 on Tuesday night and I'm almost done with the audiobook of Everlasting by Alison Noel, which I will probably finish tonight, but I also only read like probably 10 more pages of this. I've just been very distracted by YouTube, booktube, everything today. It's totally fine. Also, I've been getting my TBR ready for my 24 hour readathon that I plan on doing starting tonight, which is why I want to do this update right now. 24 hours straight. I'm going to try my absolute best to do that. I don't know if it's going to happen. I might have to sleep for a few hours just to give myself some energy because when I did this when I was younger, I was younger for one. I will try my best to stay awake for as long as possible, but I am probably going to start that at like 11 o'clock tonight, do 11 to 11 instead of midnight to midnight because it just makes more sense for me to do it that way. I just want to give some idea of what's going on with this vlog. I will probably include some b-roll of the 24-hour reading vlog, but then that will be posted most likely next week, depending on how fast I can edit that. But that is the plan. That is all I have for you guys for now, but I will update this vlog once I finish my 24 hours. I will see you guys on Thursday. Hey guys, so I know I said I wasn't going to film anything for Wednesday for this reading vlog. just wanted to come on here and say that the 24-hour readathon is going super well so far. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm a little over halfway through it and it is going super well and I'm getting a lot of reading done. I'm not too tired because I did let myself sleep, which was key to making this successful, honestly. But yeah, I just thought I would come on here and let you guys know that I will start updating this vlog more tomorrow. That is all I wanted to say, and I'm going to go get right back into reading see how many books I can read before the 24 hours is over. Hey guys, so I'm not probably going to update this vlog too much today just because... I have, I've had a lot going on throughout the day. I just got back. I spent a lot of time driving and I was just, I'm catching up on sleep from that 24 hour readathon. It's such an amazing time filming that video. And even though I got very little sleep, I found so many great books. And today is just kind of like a relaxation, catching up day. And I woke up and my eyes felt so heavy. I don't know, even though I got sleep, I just was, I think I was just so mentally drained. So yeah, I have not done any additional reading today, but I do have, I think, about 30 minutes to an hour left of the last audiobook in the Evermore series by Alison Noel, which I'm hoping to finish that tonight, and also I want to make more progress in When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I think I might just spend my night relaxing, edit some videos because I need to catch up on that because I didn't edit at all yesterday because I was literally just non-stop reading. Which I'm not mad about, but like, I need, I need to get other stuff done. But I do have some unboxing to do tomorrow, which will be very exciting. A package that came in for Book Lovers Day came in, and I'm very excited to unbox that. I will check back in most likely tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna go just relax and have a relaxing evening. I feel very accomplished after doing that readathon. I read over a thousand pages, and I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first. I think this one is, so I hope you guys are excited to see that. And it was a, it was such a successful readathon that it's worth not getting sleep. Like it was so worth it. So I will see you guys later. Good morning guys, it is currently I think 9am on Friday and I thought I would start my day doing a huge Illumicrate unboxing. Now for National Book Lovers Day, I think it was a week, a week and a half ago, I placed an order on Illumicrate's website for their special editions because they were 25% off. That's where I would feel like book buying I did that day, which I'm proud of myself for that. I ordered quite a few and they all came in individual boxes, like it all came in like one big box but then they're all like separate individually. I have three Illumicrate boxes and then I have an Afterlight which is their romance one and then I also have a bookish box that I already opened but I just brought all the things with me to show you guys so it's the book and then all the little goodies that come with it and then after I go over these I will do 
my reading updates from yesterday. I cannot wait to open these boxes. I didn't open them yesterday. I told myself to wait so I could open them with all of you guys. So I cannot wait. Let's just get right on into it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this book. The first book I got is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones. I've been wanting to read from this author for so long and I love the UK cover for this book and the edges, I could not get them. This is so beautiful. This is pretty. Look at that. This is what the dust jacket looks like. It's kind of hard to see, but that is gorgeous. And I see a boat. I love and a castle. Hold up. <laughs> this needs to be added to my TBR ASAP. Part heist novel, part dark fairy tale, and rich with Welsh legends. I love any like legend. If I see the word legend, I am immediately intrigued. And this cover, again, absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I picked this one up. I'm going to save the Afterlight one for the end. And then we have another regular box. It's a book I have not read, but I already own many editions of this book. But to be fair, it was cheaper buying it through Luma Cree versus secondhand, so I figured I would just take advantage of the sale as well. The book I got is Book of Night by Holly Black. I really like the white on black. I think it's really pretty. Did you hear that like crease when I opened it? That was satisfying. <laughs> This is what it looks like, and then this is the back and the spine. This one I used to know a decent amount of like the summary, but I cannot for the life of me think what that is right now, and I don't want to read the synopsis because I want to read this next month, hopefully, so I don't want to like know much before going into it, but it says even your shadow can be stolen, which that in itself sounds amazing. Then we have the third one, which I do know what this one is. This one isn't part of their monthly box, it's just an exclusive edition. Oh my gosh, it's even more beautiful in person. That is The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. Oh my gosh, I love it. The edges really got me. Like those are absolutely stunning edges. Look at all the character art. That's so fun. There's some foiling on the Naked Hardback. I wanted to get the one for my enemy and Masters of Death box set, but that one wasn't included in the sale. So I told myself to wait on that one at least. So yeah, I got this one for now and look at that beauty. It's stunning. Then we have the Afterlight box. And this is actually three books in here. I got an entire author set. Oh my gosh. I got the Rachel Lynn Solomon box. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And this first one is the X Talk. Look at the edges. I don't know if you can really see that, but it has like little lightning bolts and a heart in the middle. Oh my gosh, there's even foiling on it. It says, it was a pleasure breaking up with you on air. That's really cute. I like that. Then we have a business or pleasure. This one has little socks on it. That's so cute. The front of this says, whatever semi-professional boundary we still had earlier today, it officially no longer exists. That's really cute. This third book is actually the one that got me wanting to read this author's books, and that is Weather Girl. This cover is just so adorable. And this one has little umbrellas and hearts. It's really hard to see with the light, but that's so cute. It says, weather connects us, a shared experience, even when we aren't in the same place. That's just so true. I meant it when I told you before, I want every version of you. <laughs> oh my god, my heart. So yeah, these three together, they're so cute. Look at those colors and the sprayed edges. I've been looking at this set for a while, and so I'm so glad that I waited until Book Lovers Day because it gave me an excuse to buy these. But yeah, I am interested in all these books, but this is the book that got me interested in reading this author's works, but I've heard really good things about these two as well. Here is my... A Luma Crate book haul. They're all so pretty and like, oh, look at all the edges together. They're so beautiful. I do have a bookish box to show you guys. If you don't want to get spoiled, I'm going to be talking about the March 2023 YA box. First, we got a little door archway, which we've gotten a Thrall Glass one, a From Blood and Ash one, and then this one is Percy Jackson. It's super cute. A Poison Study pin, and it says, have a drink, my love, and this is by, I think, Maria V. Schneider, which is a series I really want to get to. Along with those lines, we got a little pin holder. Put your pins in there. This is the first time I've seen this book they have like an item inspired in a box, which is really exciting. And that is inspired by An Air Comes to Rise. Again, another fantasy series I really want to read because I've heard it's like similar to Throne of Glass. And it's just this little candle right here. It's really pretty. It smells really good. It reminds me of spring. Actually, I can make sure of fall and spring, which is really fun. Then we have this page holder, and it says greatness takes time. It's like a really big one. I've gotten like the little tiny ones, 
but this one just I feel like it fits more comfortably which is really pretty I think this is inspired by the City of Brass series it's so pretty and then we have an Ember in the Ashes art print this art style I forget which artist this is but I absolutely love this art style so much and then the book that we got is The Bitter Blooms by Emma Hamm again another author I really want to read <laughs> and these sprayed edges it's like stenciled and ombre stunning I love it and I really love this cover. Look at this. It's like rose gold. This is like me in a book right here. It's so gorgeous. And these are the end pages. The back of it says, She was nothing, could be nothing, for she was the world inside a small seed of a body waiting to bloom. That's fun. I like that. It has a reverse dust jacket right here. Love the pink and purple undertones of this book. Oh my gosh, the first sentence says, Today she became a witch. A real witch like her sisters and mother. That's intriguing. This Okay, I definitely want to read this in the fall now because it's witchy. So I feel like this would be a really good October fantasy book. So I think I'll probably add that to my TBR. We'll see. It could change. But I'm really excited to read this one. This is all of the bookish mail I have. That's a great way to start the morning. And I am going to go edit some videos and also continue reading. So I did finish the last audiobook in the Evermore series by Alison Noel, which is Everlasting. I'm going to give that one three stars. It's actually like a lot better than some of the other books in that series and it wrapped up really nicely. This morning while I started getting ready, I still need to do my hair later, but I started the audiobook for the Matchbreaker season, I think, or the Matchbreaker summer. I'm not exactly sure. I'll put a picture on the screen. And that is such a cute YA book so far. I'm really loving it. And it's basically about this girl who owns this summer camp with her mom and her dad did pass away. So it's just her and her mom taking care of it now. But her mom has a new boyfriend and she doesn't like him and he's altering their lives a lot. So she pairs up with this guy and I think they try to break them up while also forming a connection themselves. And just like the friend dynamic so far is super cute and I just love a camp summer setting. So I'm really excited to read more of that today. That is all I have for you guys for right now and I will just check back in later once I've made more progress on reading or if anything happens that I want to update you guys on. So yeah, I will just check back in later. I've only read one Emily Henry book but I absolutely loved it and so I want to make a cute bookshelf with just her books on there and also these Rachel Lynn Solomon books because the colors kind of match so I'm going to reorganize this shelf just for these authors and just make it look cute and then I will show you guys afterwards. I just finished reorganizing this shelf and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the bright colors are really pretty and knowing me I probably will adjust this more in the future but for now this is what I thought to do and especially once I read more of Emily Henry's books then I think I might adjust it. Maybe I'll face one of the books forward but I think overall this looks really cute but now I'm just going to go continue listening to my audiobook and probably reorganize some of the other shelves too. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here with a little reading update. I just finished the audiobook of The Matchbreaker Summer by Annie Rains. That was such a cute book. I loved the camp setting, the summer setting, everything was just so much fun and I think I'm gonna give it 3.5 stars. Such a fun, sweet read. I liked seeing how all the characters progress throughout the story and the relationships and the romance was super cute as well and the ending was actually pretty bittersweet. It's still a great ending, like I really liked it. It was kind of an open ending a little bit which worked really well in this story but yeah I would really recommend it if you want a cute short fun summer read and I definitely want to check out more from this author I'm not sure if this is their debut or not but nonetheless it was a really cute book that is all of the reading updates that I have for now and I will check back in once I make more progress in Win in Rome because I am really loving it I just I need to actually sit down and read it I think I'm at about 50 pages so far but I'm annotating quite a bit in that book so that is always really fun. I'll just let you guys know how I feel about that book once I make more progress in it but I love the small town setting. I love that it's like a pop star and a baker together. It's so cute and he has a soft spot for her and it's so cute and I cannot wait to see them get closer and their connection form so yeah I'm gonna go read more of that later. I need to go to the grocery store do some errands right now but I will check back in later tonight.